नमस्ते भगिनी अस्तु नमस्ते नमस्ते भगिनी प्रारंभ कुछ गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटी सभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवा सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्यामी सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय च नंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबा ध्वामुसंदा भगवदीतेषिणी नमोस्तुते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे हुलाय तपत्र नेत्र भारतपूर्ण प्रज्वाल ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारीजातायत्रेत्रकपाणे ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतदुहे नम वसुदेवसुत कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोणतटा जयद्रतजला गांधारनीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोरमक दुर्योधनावर्ति सोत्तीर्णा खलु पांडवैरणनदी कैवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोजमल गीतागंधोत्कट नाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधनाबोधित लोके सज्जन षटरहर पेपीयम मुदा भूयाज कलिमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव गीताशास्त्रद पुण्य पठे प्रयत पुमा विष्णो पदमवाप्नोति भयशोक विवर्जित गीताध्ययनशील से प्राणायाम पर नव सी पापा पूर्वजन्मता च मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सकृदीतांभसी स्ना संसारमलनाशनम गीतासु गीता कर्तव्या कि शास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मासृता भारतामृतसर्वस्व विष्णोर्वक्रादृत गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत् शास्त्रकीपुत्र गीतमेको देवो देवकीपुत्र एको मंत्रस्त कर्माप्येक सेवा शाताकार भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं 
ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತ ಕಮಲನಯನ ಯೋಗಿಭ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯಂ ವಂದೇ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಭವಭಯಹರ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕನಾಥ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ರುದ್ರಮರುತ ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈ ಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈ ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈರ್ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಎಂ ಸಾಮಗಾಹ ಧ್ಯಾನಸ್ಥಿತ ತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಎಂ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತ ನ ವಿದುಸುರಾಸುರಗಣ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಯದಕ್ಷರ ಪದ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟ ಮಾತ್ರಹೀನ ಚದ್ಭವೇತ್ ತತ್ಸರ್ವ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾಂ ದೇವನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತೇ ಕಾಯೇನ ವಾಚ ಮನಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈರ್ವಾ ಬುಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ವಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವತ್ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯೇತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಅಸ್ತು ಆ ಸಂಧಿ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಪಠಾಮ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಗುಣಸಂಧಿ ಪಠನೀಯ ಖಲು ಗತಸಪ್ತಾಹೆ ಯಾಂತಾವಾಂತ ದೇಶ ಸಂಧಿ ಪಠಿತವಂತ ಅದ್ಯ ಗುಣಸಂಧಿ ಖಲು ಗುಣಸಂಧಿ ಅಪಿ ಪಠಿತವಂತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಗುಣ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅದೇಂಗ್ ಗುಣ ಅದ್ ಏಂಗ್ ಗುಣ ಸೊ ಏಂಗ್ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಏಕ ನಿಮಿಷಂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಅಸ್ತು ಸೊ ಅತ್ರ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಸೂತ್ರ ಕಿಮಸ್ತಿ ಅದೇಂಗ ಗುಣ ಅತ್ರ ಪದ ವಿಭಾಗ ಕಿಮಸ್ತಿ ಅತ್ ಏಂಗ ಗುಣ ಸೊ ಏಂಗ್ ಇತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ತತ್ ಏಕ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರಮಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಏಂಗ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರೇಣ ಕೆ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಸಂತಿ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಸೂತ್ರು ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಅತ್ಯುಕ್ತ ಅತ್ರ ಅತ್ ಕೇವಲ ದಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅತ್ರ ಅಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಸೊ ಅಣಸಂಜ್ಞಾ so these three letters are called guna uh, so why the at uh, is there no adeng 
So here the Padavi Bhaga is at ing. So here that uh, takara is used only as a separator. It does not have any significance in the meaning. It is used only as a separator. So a, a, o. These are labeled as guna. By the sutra, adeng guna. So um, that is uh, for the guna sanya. Anantaram a, a. Pare. E, e. Asti chet. Ekaraha. Adeshaha bhavati. Ekadeshaha bhavati. Akarasya e ikarasya sthane ekaraha ekadeshaha bhavati. A a pare u athava u asti chet o karaha ekadeshaha bhavati. Ekadeshaha ityukte dvayoho sthane ekaha aksharaha. So akara ukara sthane o karaha. Tatha akara rikara sthane ar akara rikara sthane al. Iti adeshaha bhavati. Ekadeshaha bhavati. So, Adeshaha Ekadeshaha. Adeshaha Ityukte Kevalam uh, Ekaha uh, Aksharasya Sthane Eva um, Nutana Aksharam Agachati Chet Adeshaha. Kintu Dvayoho Sthane Ekaha Aksharaha Agachati Chet Ekadeshaha Iti. So, A A Ityeta Abhyam. Ityeta bhyam, varna bhyam, e e, ityeta yoho, parayoho, ekaraha, u u, ityeta yoho, parayoho, okaraha, ru ru, ityeta yoho, parayoho, ar ru kare pare, al chapurva parayoho, sthane, eka deshaha bhavati. Atram uh, footnotes madhye ad gunaha. Avarnat achi pare, purva parayoho, ekaha. Uh, gunaha adeshaha syat samhitayam. So, a varnat. So, a varnat achi pare. So, uh, means akarasya pare achi asti chet. Means ach asti chet. Purva parayoho, uh, purva parayoho ekaha gunaha adeshaha syat. So here again, achi means it is in Saptami Vibhakti. Ach is the actual Shabda. Achi is in Saptami Vibhakti. Saptami Vibhakti indicates what? We have uh, uh, discussed this in the previous classes. When uh, the Panini, uh, Paniniya Sutreshu um, Padam Saptami Vibhakta Bhavati Chet Whatever Karya, whatever Karya is ordained by that Sutra that will happen before the ach. Before the ach. So here a plus e. Right? A plus e is there. In the place of a and e, we will get a. So it will happen before the a and e only. So that is what it means. Whenever Saptami Vibhakti is there, we have to um, remember that. So the Sandhikaryam will happen. So where will a come? Before uh, and e, or in the place of. Here it is in the place of, but it will happen um, before the vowel. That's thana. So where exactly will it come? Before. So that is what the Saptami Vibhakti indicates. So avarnat achi pare purva parayoho um, ekaha gunaha adeshaha syat samhitayam. So in, in that place ekaha gunaha. Gunaha means either uh, ekara, okara will come. Ar and Alla will also come, but uh, they are not, uh, you know, in the Maheshwara Sutras. So, uh, uh, they are not specifically mentioned in the Maheshwara Sutras. So, we cannot uh, uh, call them as uh, guna. Okay. So, avarnat ik pare iti sutrasya phalitarthaha iti gnyayam. So, avarnat iki again. So, what is the pratyahara ik? We have the pratyahara ik, which indicates e, u, r, r. Right? The pratyahara ik indicates e, u, r, r. But then here, iki, avarnat iki pare. Again, it is in saptami vibhakti. Iki is in saptami vibhakti. So, in the place of or um, uh, before, before these aksharas, we will get the Guna. 
guna aksharas means a and o anantaram uh, there is another footnotes given let us also read that so here akarat pare e e athava u u um, dattam asti kintu plite ikare pare api gunah bhavati so not only ikara and ikara plita ikara is there also akarat pare plita ikara asti chet api gunah bhavati okay tatha eva ukare api so uh, plita ukara ukara uh, pare api gunah bhavati kintu tadrishasya lakshyasya atyantam durlab uh, durlabhatvat nimitta kotau na tau upattau ataha purva roopa sandhim vihaya anye sandhaya pravartante yadi parasthane plitah shruyate iti sarveshu swara sandhishu gnyayam so basically but that kind of uh, uh, usage is very rare where we will have plita ikara or plita uh, ukara is very very rare but uh, that is why it is not given in the nimitta in the nimitta it is only given as akara plus uh, ikara or ikara ukara or ukara the plita is not specifically mentioned but as per the sutra even if the plita ikara or plita ukara are there guna will happen but since that never actually that uh, kind of uh, usage is very rare it is not given in the um it is not stated in the rule so we can we can understand that except for in the purva roopa sandhi anye sandhaya pravartante yadi parasthane plitah shruyate iti sarveshu swara sandhishu gnyayam so whenever we are looking at the plita in the parasthana sorry um, ach in the parasthana except for in the purva roopa sandhi for all the other sandhis we can we can uh, we can understand that even the plita um, ach applies okay so say for example we have uh, uh, savarna dirgha sandhi akara akarat pare akara so hrasva akara athava dirgha akara that is what we write in the rule but we can also understand that plit akara asti chet api savarna dirgha sandhi bhavati okay though it is not uh, given in the rules the plit akara or plit any ach uh, the plit akara or plit ikara or plit ukara even though they are not mentioned in the rule of the sandhi we can understand that they also are um, even if those are there the sandhi will happen except for purva roopa sandhi for purva roopa sandhi uh, akarat pare eva khalu ekara okara yoho pare akara asti chet atra kevalam hrasva akara eva dirgha plita nasti so that is why uh, it is given purva roopa sandhim vihaya okay so purva roopa sandhi we will study later in detail but those who already are familiar with that uh, sandhi rule we know that only the hrasva akara should be there on the right hand side so there only hrasvakara the plita will not apply there anantaram kanichana udaharanani santi um um bharati bhagini patitum ichchati va deva plus indraha tam bhavaya deva plus indraha dev plus e plus indraha devendraha ha a plus e अकारात् परे इकारः अस्ति अकार इकारयोहो स्थाने एकारः एकादेशः भवति संयुक्तं पदं देवेंद्रः तथा वदतु भगिनि अस्तु मतो देव प्लस इंद्रः अकारः अकारः अकारात् परे इकारः अस्ति देत एकारः भवति अस्ति चेत् 
ಏಕಾದೇಶಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅನಂತರ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭಗಿನಿ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಈಶ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭಗಿನಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಓಕೆ ಇಂದ್ರ ಭಗಿನಿ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಈಶ ಆಹಾರ ಪರೆ ಈಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಆಕಾರ ಈಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಸಾರಿ ಆಕಾರ ಈಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಏಕಾರ ಆದೇಶ ಏಕಾರ ಆದೇಶ ಏಕಾದೇಶ ಅನಂತರ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಉದಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಉದಯ ಅಕಾರ ಅಕಾರ ಪರೆ ಉಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅಕಾರ ಉಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಅಕಾರ ಉಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಓಕಾರ ಆದೇಶನ ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಪದ ಸೂರ್ಯೋದಯ ಅನಂತರೂಕಾರಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಭಗಿನಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಅನಂತರ ಪದ್ಮಾವತಿ ಭಗಿನಿ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾ ಮಹೋದಯ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಕೂತಿ ಅಸ್ಮ ಅತ್ರ ಚಿಂತಾ ಚಿಂತಾ ಸೀತಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಉತ್ಸವ ಸೀತಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ನ ಶ್ರೂಯತೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಸುಚಿತ್ರ ಭಗಿನಿ ಆ ಮಹೋದಯ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಉತ್ಸವ ಆಕಾರ ಊಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಚೇತ್ ಓಕಾರ ಏಕಾದೇಶ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಊರ್ಮಿ ಆಕಾರ ಊಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಓಕಾರ ಏಕಾದಶ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಮಹೋರ್ಮಿ ಮಹೋರ್ಮಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಅನಂತರ ಸಪ್ತ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಋಷಯ ಸಪ್ತ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಋಷಯ ಸಪ್ತ ಋಷಯ ಅಕಾರ ಋಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಅರ್ ಏಕಾದಶ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಋಷಯ ಏಕಾದೇಶ ಏಕಾದೇಶ ಮಹಾ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಋಷಿ ಆಕಾರ ಋಕಾರ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಅರ್ ಏಕಾದೇಶ ಅಲ್ಲ ಏಕಾದಶ ಏಕಾದೇಶ 
So it becomes Tavalkaraha. Maha plus Rikaraha. Akaraha Rikaraha Stane. Al Ekadesha Bhavati. So it becomes Mahalkaraha. Asto. Anyvada Havaini. Atra Akarat Akaratva Paraha Rikaraha Durlabaha. Sapta Rikaraha Saptarkara Ityadi Kalpa Kalpaniyam. So basically this is as per the rule. Uh, if Akarat Pare Rikaraha Sichet Ar Iti Agachati. So Akarat Akaratva Paraha Rikaraha means the Dirgham Rik. Rikaraha. Durlabaha means it is very, very rare. Uh, Kevalam Rikaraha Bhavati, Saptarshayaha Maharshihi Tatha, Kintu Dirgha Rikaraha uh, Na Bhavati, Durlabaha. So Sapta Rikaraha, Saptarkara, Ityadi Kalpaniyam. So only for the sake of uh, demonstration, such uh, examples are given. It is uh, that kind of uh, you know, word does not exist is what uh, is given. Anantaram. Anyani Udaharanani. Um, Chari Mahodaya. Namaste, Bhagani. Namaste. Parama plus Ishwara. Akara pare ikara asti. Ataha akara ikara yo stane ekara bhavati. Parameshwara sign. Hmm. Atra uh, Upendraha Rameti Api Ekavaram Patatu Vimshati Hipute Adaha Dakta Mastikalu Upa plus Indraha Upendraha ah, Upa plus Indraha Akarat Pare Ikara Asti Ataha Akara Ikara Yohostani Ekaraha Bhavati Sanktapadam Ekadesha Bhavati Sanktapadam Upendraha hmm. Parama plus Ishwara Akarat Pare Ekaraha Asti Adaha Akara hmm. Ikarayo Stane Ekaraha Ekadesha Bhavati Sanktapadam Parameshwaraha hmm. Maha plus Ishwaraha Akara pare ikara hasti, Ataha Akara ikara yoho stane, Ekaraha ekadesha bavati, Sanktapadam maheshwaraha Rama plus ishaha Akara pare ikara hasti, Ataha Akara ikara yo stane, ekaraha eka desha bavati, Santapadam Ramesha, Rameshaha, Rameshaha Guna plus Guna Guna plus Upetam Akara pare ukaraha asti, Taha Akara ukara yo stane, Okaraha eka desha bavati. Guno petam sanctapara. Hm. Sulaba plus upayaha. Akara pare ukara hasti. Akara ukara yoho stane. Okaraha eka de shabavati. Sulabo payaha. Uttamam. Uttamam mahodaya. Then you are the her. Then you are the mahodaya. Anantaram. Jai Pradgaru. Ah, namaste. Namaskar, Mani. Sapta plus Rishayaha. Sapta plus Rishayaha. Akara Stani. Akara Pare Urukara. Asti. Asti. Akara Rukara. Yoho Stani. Yoho Stani. Ar. 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 Ar Bhavati Ekadesha Bhavati Ekadesha Bhavati Saptarshya Saptarshayaha 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 Krishnaha plus Riddhi 
கிருஷ்ணா பிளஸ் ரெட்டி விசர்க நாஸ்தி கிருஷ்ணசிய ஓ கிருஷ்ணா கிருஷ்ணா பிளஸ் ரெட்டி ஆகார ருகார ஆகார பரிருகார பவதி ருக அகார ருகார ஸ்தானே ஆகாரே பரமோத்தி ஆகாரோ அனந்தரம் லட்சுமி பகினி அகாரோகார அகார உகாரோஸ்தானே ஓகாரேஷி நோன்னதம் ஹிதா பிளஸ் உபதேஷே உகாரஸ்தி அகார உகாரோஸ்தானே ஓகாரேஷி ஹிதோபதேஷம் கங்கா பிளஸ் உதகம் ஆகாரே உகார அஸ்தி ஆகார உகாரோஸ்தானே ஓகாரேஷி அகாரேஷி பிரச்சினாத்தர ஆகாரோஸ்தானேஷி அகாரேஷி 
ఆకార ఉకారయో స్థానే ఓకార ఏకాదేశ భవతి అతహ మహోద్దేశ ఇది సంయుక్త పదం జిహ్వా ప్లస్ ఇది ఆకారాత్ పరే ఇకార అస్తి ఆకార ఇకారయో స్థానే ఏకార ఏకాదేశ భవతి జిహ్వేతి ఇది సంయుక్త పదం దేవా ప్లస్ ఋషి అకారాత్ పరే రకార అస్తి అకార రికారయో స్థానే మధ్య ఏకస్యాక్షరస్యానేసంధి ఖలు ఉదాహరణ ప్రతి ప్లస్ ఏకం ప్రతి ప్లస్ ఏకం ఇకారాత్ పరే ఏకార అస్తి కింతు ఇకారస్య స్థానే ఏవ యకార ఆదేశ భవతి ఏకార తథా ఏవ అస్తి కేవలం ఇకారస్య స్థానే యకార ఆదేశ భవతి సో ఏకస్య అక్షరస్య స్థానే నూతన అక్షరం ఆగచ్చతి చేత్ ఆదేశ ద్వయో స్థానే ఆగచ్చతి చేత్ ఏకాదేశ అకార ఇకారయో స్థానే ఏకార ఏకాదేశ అత్రిరాదైచ్ ఇది పాణినీయ సూత్రం అస్తి వృద్ధి ఆత్ ఏచ్ తత్ పదవిభాగం అస్తి సో ఆత్ అగైన్ ఆకార అనంతరం ఏచ్ ఏచ్యుక్తే పాణినీయ మాహేశ్వర సూత్రేషు ఏచ్ ఏకవారం ఐచ్ యాక్చువల్లీ నాట్ ఏచ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఐచ్ సో ఐ ఔ ఐ ఔ సో ఆ ఐ ఔ ఫర్ దోస్ త్రీ లెటర్స్ వృద్ధి ఇస్ ద నేమ్ గివెన్ వృద్ధి సంజ్ఞా భవతి అనంతరం వృద్ధి రేచి దట్ ఈస్ ద యాక్చువల్ సూత్ర ఫర్ ద వృద్ధి సంధి సో వాట్ ఈస్ వృద్ధి సంధి అకారాత్ పరే ఏకార అథవా ఐకార అస్తి చేత్ ఐకార ఓకార ఔకార అస్తి చేత్ ఔకార ఏకాదేశ భవతి సో అత్యేతాభ్యాం వర్ణాభ్యాం ఏ ఐ ఇత్యేతయో పరయో ఐకార ఔ ఓ ఔ ఇత్యేతయో పరయో ఔకార పూర్వపరయో స్థానే ఏకాదేశ భవతి సో సో హియర్ వృద్ధి రేచి ఇస్ ద సూత్రం ఫర్ విచ్ ఇస్ డిఫైనింగ్ ద సంధి వృద్ధి రాదైచ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఓన్లీ ద సంజ్ఞా గివెన్ టు ది అక్షరాస్ ఆ ఐ ఔ ఆ ఐ ఔ ఆర్ లేబిల్డ్ యాజ్ వృద్ధి Okay, that is the Sutra Vriddhi Radech. That tells that these three letters are named as Vriddhi. Vriddhi Rechi is the Sutra which actually defines the Vriddhi Sandhi. Okay, what, how is it defining? Adechi Pare Vriddhi Rekadesha Syat. Adechi Pare. At and H. Okay, A means Akara. H. H means Akara. ఏఓ ఐ ఔ రైట్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద థర్డ్ సూత్ర ఏకార ద చకార ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్త్ మహేశ్వర సూత్ర దట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రత్యాహార ఏచ్ ఇట్ రిప్రజెంట్స్ ద లెటర్స్ ఏఓ ఐ ఔ సో అకారాత్ పరే ఏఓ ఐ ఔ అస్తి చేత్ వృద్ధి ఆదేశ ఏకాదేశ భవతి వృద్ధి మీన్స్ ఐ ఔ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ ఓకే So, Vriddhi is nothing but the longer vowels. Since they are longer, the, even the short vowel is becoming long. That is why it is labeled as Vriddhi. Udhaharanani Santi. 
बिफोर दट परूपसंधौ अस अपवाद आरभ्य लिखिता पंक्ति पश्य सो दिस् कम्स लेटर इन द्वेंटी सेवेन्थ पेज देन वी विल लुक इन टू दट अपवाद ओके रिगार्डिंग दट पर्टिक्युलर सूत्र वी विल डिस्क यु नो वेन एवर इट कम्स ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेन सो हियर उदाहरण सी अन मंजुला भगिनी पढ़ी वा भगिनी पुस्तक इट्स ओके भारती भगिनी पुनः संयुक्त संयुक्त अनंद्रा भगिनी संयुक्त पदन मम औषधम आकार आकार परे अवकार है अस्ति आकार वो अवकार यो हो स्थाने अवकार है आदेश है एक आदेश है भक्ति आता है समयुक्त पदम ममोषधम 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 गंगा संयुक्त पदम गंगो ग अतः संयुक्त पदम महोत्सुख्यम 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 अन्य अन्यान अतुक्त पदी वन औषधम अकारे अवकार अस्थ अकार अवकार स्थान अवकार 
संयुक्त पदम संयुक्त पदम तत्रैव तवा प्लस औधार्य संयुक्त पदम राष्ट्र प्लस ऐक्यम अकारात्परे ऐकारः अस्ति अकार ऐकारः स्थाने ऐकार एकादेशो भवति राष्ट्रैक्यम संयुक्त पदम परम प्लस औदार्यम अकार अकारात्परे औकारः अस्ति अकारात अवकारात स्थाने अवकार अस्ति संयुक्त पदम द्वितीया प्लस एक वचन आकारे एक अस्त आकार संयुक्त पदम विल बी द्वितीयचन दिव्य प्लस औषधम अकारात्परे अवकारः अस्ति अकार अवकारः स्थाने अवकारः अवकार योहो एकादेश भवति हा योहो विल नॉट बी योहो विल नॉट बी फॉर अकार योहो एकादेशः भवति योहो इज द षष्टी सफिक्स so okay. in the place of akara and aukara because we are saying in the place of that is why akara aukara yoho sthane yoho should be used there yoho okay. represents the shashti vibhakti antam for dvivachana here we have two aksharas akara and aukara so in the place of the akara and aukara that is what we are trying to say so akara aukara yoho sthane अकारः अकारः 
ओकार संयुक्त पदम विल बी दिव्यौषधम देर इफ देर इज अंटिंग मिस्टेक इट इज गिवेन एज दिव्यौषधम इट हेज टू बी दिव्यौषधम देर इज अ टाइपिंग मिस्टेक और प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक कृष्ण प्लस कृष्ण एव विसर्ग नास्ति कृष्ण कृष्ण प्लस औत्कंठ्यम औत्कंठ्यम अकार अकार प्लस औकार अकार अकार औकार स्थाने औकार एकादेश सो इट बिकम्स कृष्ण कंठ्यम त्र प्लस अकार एकार स्थाने ऐकारदेश सो इट बिकम्स त्रैकदा तथा प्लस एव आकार स्थाने ऐकारदेश सो बिकम्स तथव परम प्लस औचित्यम अकार औकार स्थाने औकार एकादेश बिकम्स परमौचित्यम दृष्ट प्लस एक आकार एकार स्थाने ऐकार एकादेश सो इट बिकम्स देवता प्लस एकात्म्यम आकार एकार स्थाने ऐकार एकादेश सो इट बिकम्स देवतम्यम रक्ता प्लस औषधी रक्ता 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 ककारा इज ऑल्सो देर रक्खा रक्ता लाइक रक्तम लाइक रक्तम रक्तम ओके रक्ता प्लस औषधी आकार ओकार स्थाने औकार एकादेश उत्तम उत्तम भगिनी धन्यवाद अनतर पद्मावती भगिनी हम महोदय हम उतवती खलु ट्रावल सॉरी सॉरी विस्मरा पैडिकोडल लक्ष्मी भगिनी अभी सिद्ध नास्ति अस्त पठत अकार आकार परे आकारात परे रिकार अस्ति चेत आर रिकार अस्ति चेत आल अकारा उपसर्गा ऋकाराद धात परे पूर्वपरयो स्थाने आर इत्यादेशो भवति ऋकाराद 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 उपसर्ग विच एंड इन अकार और आकार अकारात अथवा आकारात उपसर्गा परे रिकाराद धात परे सो इफ द धातु स्टार्ट विथ रिकार ओके सो द उपसर्ग इज एंडिंग इन ईदर अकार और आकार एंड द धातु इज स्टार्टिंग इन रिकार पूर्वपरयो स्थाने आर् आदेश रिकाराद रिकाराद सुधात परे तो विकल सो सुपधातुपरेकल्पेन 
occasionally only it will happen mm. okay so uh, that is what is given atah tippani api patitu pataniya vah ha patatu patatu akarantad akarantad upasargat parah rukaradihi rukaradischa dhatuh durlabah so technically ha uh, technically though the rule says that when a upasarga ends in akara or akara followed by a dhatu which starts with rikara uh, or rikara such cases are uh, very very rare if at all they are there it is very very rare so such cases will not happen but just for the sake of the rule it is given hmm upasarga druti dhatau ha uh, upasarga iti dhatau hmm adi sutra sankhya va ha sutra sankhya vivaranam patatu avarnat avarnanta du avarnantat upasargat hmm prakaradau dhatau pare vruddhi reka deshah syat hmm so avarnat avarnan avarnantat upasargat samana varnah na rikaradau dhatau rikaradau dhatau pare vruddhi ekadeshah syat so mm. avarnantat upasargat uh, rikaradau dhato this um, is given earlier only it is only restated here again okay mm. whatever mm. we studied earlier so when the upasarga ends in akaranta and the dhatu starts in rikaranta then vriddhi will happen vriddhi mm. adeshah syat mm. va suptya api va suptya api shalehe mm. sup api shalehe va mm. Mm. ಅವರ್ಣಾಂತಾತ್ಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್ಪಸರ್ಗಾತ್
అండ్ హ్రస్వ అకార హ్యాస్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ గుణ సో అందుకని వృద్ధ్య భావే గుణ అంటే ఇన్ ద ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ వృద్ధి సమ్టైమ్స్ ఈవెన్ గుణ కెన్ హ్యాపెన్ అంటే రావచ్చు అంటాడు ఆకారాత్ స్థానే అకార శక్నోతి వా ఆడియో ప్రాబ్లం అస్తి వాయతే కిమీ శ్రూయతేషు పూర్వపరయో స్థానే వృద్ధి భవతి అక్ష ప్లస్ ఊహిణి అక్షౌహిణి 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 fine you can read no, no, it no uh, right order okay. any okay. order is fine yeah just read swa ha swa plus eera ha swaira ha swa plus eerin swairi swa plus eeni irini swairini hmm pra plus uha ha prauha ha pra plus uda ha prauda ha pra plus udhi వసనా దశ ప్లస్ ఋణ దశాణ ఋణ ప్లస్ ఋణం ఋణాణం ఓ దిస్ ఇస్ దశాణ దశాణ ఋణ ప్లస్ ఋణం ఇత్యర్థే కిం భగిని ఋణ ప్లస్ ఋణం ఋణాణం దిస్ కెన్ బి అ సమస్త పదం ఆర్ మేబీ ఇట్ ఇస్ గివెన్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ థింగ్ సో ఋణం ఋణం మీన్స్ to be uh, to go yeah, something uh, in debt uh, mm. uh, so rinasya rinam maybe it is like um uh, mm, rinasya rinam mm, interest mm-hmm. i don't know it depends on the context also but uh, rinasya rinam mm. rinarnam can also be mm. there as as the dhanyavada a a ityetabhyam ruta shabde pare purva parayo ho sthane ఆదేశోతిరతీయసమాసేవరమర్తమర్తేతి what is it paramaschaso rutascheti vigraha atotra guna guna eva na vriddhi hmm. so what is he saying a uh, a uh, ityetabhyam rita shabde pare purva parayoho sthane ar aadeshah bhavati eshah aadeshah tritiya samase eva yatha sukha plus ritah sukhartah atra sukhena ritah iti vigraha so whenever this kind of sandhi happens means akara akara pare 
ஆகாராத் பரே ரிகார சப்தக ரித சப்தக அஸ்தி சேத் நாட் எனி ரிகார ரித சப்தக அஸ்தி சேத் தட் சமஸ்த பதம் வில் பி ரிட்டன் யூசிங் த இட் வில் யூஸ்வலி பி த திருத்திய தத்புருஷ இஸ் வாட் தே ஆர் சீங் சோ சுகேன ரித இது விக்கிரக பரம பிளஸ் ரித பரமர்த்தூ பரம அசௌ ரித விக்கிரக அதுண நிதி சோ ஹியர் பரம பிளஸ் ரித இஃப் த விதி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஃப் த விதி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் தென் த விக்கிரக வாக்கிய வில் பி ரிட்டன் யூசிங் த திருத்திய சமாச இஃப் தேர் இஸ் நோ விதி uh or how do you say if the uh, yeah if there is no vriddhi then guna has happened and that is why the trutiya samasa is not used it is written uh, simply as uh, visheshana purva pada karma dharya like paramaha cha asau ritihi cha iti vigraha uh, this is the vigraha vakya for uh, visheshana purva pada karma dharya so that is why guna only happened not vriddhi if vriddhi happens the vigraha vakya will have trutiya Trithiyavibhakti means like Trithiyatatpurusha. Okay. So that is as per, um, uh, you know, again some sutra. Ritecha Trithiyya Samase. Trithiyya Samase Akarat Rita Shabde Pare Vridhihi Ekadesha Hasyat. It is in the footnotes on the next page, 22 number. So that is again as per Paniniya Sutra. So basically, whenever there is Trutiya Samasa and Akarat Pare Rita Shabdaha Asti Chet, Vridhihi will happen. Okay. If, uh, if Trutiya Samasa is not there, then Vridhi will not happen. Only Guna will happen. So that is why here Parama, uh, Paramarthaha only is there. Paramarthaha is not there. Okay. The Dirgha is not there. Only Guna has taken place. Why? Because in the Vigraha Vakya, Trutiya Vibhakti is not there. Trutiya Tat Purusha is not there. So this is again uh, Vikalpena. I think. Va. Whenever Va is there, we can take it as Vikalpena in the Sutras. Yes? Mahodaya, can you please explain this again? What you said, I didn't understand that. Ah. So here, basically, Akarat Pare Rikaraha Asti. Kalu. So, Vriddhi Sandhi Niyamanusaram R Iti Ekadesha Bhavitu Marhati. Kintu, Uh, there is an exception whenever there is rita shabda whenever uh, in not any word uh, which starts with r uh, this particular shabda rita shabda has an exception what is that exception um, if uh, the vigraha vakya has trutiya samasa means like uh, trutiya tatpurusha samasa have you ever studied samasas like have you studied the kovida no right uh, no ma'am but i have read uh, samasa is long time back in hindi uh, vaguely ah, remember ah. samasa is joining of words joining of two words and which two represents words. a new meaning um, and there are several kinds in the samasas one of mm-hmm. uh, and to explain the relation usually when two words are joined they will have a specific relation with each other uh that is when it will become a samasa if they are simply joined then it will only be a sandhi uh like tatha and eva tatha eva they they don't have any relation they are only joined with the sandhi whereas ramalaya ramasya alaya there there is a relation the alaya belongs to rama so uh, there is a kind of relation then it will become a samasa a samasa padam can also have sandhi happening between the words Uh, mm-hmm. but okay. only when there is a relation between the two words we call it samasa so here what uh, so whenever there is a samasa to explain the relation between the two words we write a vigraha vakya which explains the relation uh, between the two words so here vigraha vakya means that so if the vigraha vakya has trutiya vibhakti okay means that indicates a kind of samasa then vriddhi will happen okay and you will get the dirgha like sukhartha in the example here sukha plus ritha so akarat pare rikaraha asti kintu rikaraha rita shabdasya okay this, this is an exceptional case so whenever the rita shabda is there and when uh, the condition is favorable for vriddhi to happen 
the vriddhi will happen only if the vigraha vakya of that word has trutiya vipakti. Here the vigraha vakya, sukhena ritaha, iti vigraha. So since the vigraha vakya has trutiya vibhakti, vriddhi happens. But if you take another example, parama plus ritaha, here also rita shabda is there, akarat pare rikaraha asti, vriddhi sandhi bhavitu marhati. Kintu vigraha vakya kim um, paramaha cha asau ritaha cha. Iti vigraha. So this does not have... Uh, uh, this does not have uh, Trithiya Vibhakti in the Vigraha Vakyam. So, Vriddhi will not happen. Only Guna will happen. So, the Dirgha will not be there. Paramarthaha only will be the uh, uh, will be the word. Samyuktam Padam. Okay. And that is again as per uh, Paniniya Sutra. What is that uh, Sutra? The Paniniya Sutra. Uh, Ritecha Trithiya Samase. So, whenever there is Rita Shabda and if there is Trutiya Samasa, only then the Vriddhi happens. Okay? Okay. So, here uh, some footnotes is given. Let us also read that and stop uh, this book. Uh, so, Praishaha, Praishyaha, Ityetat Dvayam Vihaya Uparchati uh, Iti Arabhya Sukhartaha Ityantam Yavat gunaha praptaha Gunapavadatvena vridhihi vihita uh, Praishaha Praishyaha ityatratu pararupam praptam uh, Tasyapavadatvena vridhihi vihita Eshaha Eshyaha uh, Ityanayoho dhatu nishpannatvat pararupam praptam so these are all uh, basically exceptional cases. These all belong to a group of uh, words. So uh, praishaha, praishyaha, um, ityetat dvayam. These two words, vihaya, means putting aside these two words, uparchati iti arabhya sukartaha ityantam. Starting from uparchati and until sukartaha, uh, guna only will happen. That is what is saying. Gunapavadatvena uh, vriddhihi vihita. So, when there is an exceptional case, uh, exception for guna, then vriddhi happens. Okay, praishaha praishyaha ityatratu pararupam praptam. Um, so, again, pararupam is another kind of sandhi. Um, Tasyapavadatvena vriddhihi vihita. Again, if there is an apavada of that sutra, then again vriddhi happens. So, all these are basically uh, interlinked. Okay, let us come back to that example in the next class after we have studied uh, um, uh, the Pararupa Sandhi, then we will come back to that. For now, just understand that it is explaining some exceptional cases. Apavada means exception. So, say for example, you have a general rule. Many times uh, to uh, everywhere, we have this practice everywhere. We will give a general rule. So, normally this is how it is. But sometimes there will be an exception and that exception is stated. So normally vriddhi happens, but when this condition is there, then guna happens. So apavada means that exception. Uh, the, it is uh, a sutra is defined as uh, uh, apavada if it is if that sutra is indicating the exception case. Okay, the general case and the exception case. So we'll come back to that again. Um, in the next class. Okay, we will look at all these uh, all these uh, footnotes in the next class actually with uh, more examples I will uh, explain. Okay, so um, let us stop this book uh, now and let us go to Gita Pravesha book. Krishna Sankhya Kim Bhagni? Um, Abhyasam Dattamastikalu Upari Tat Gata Saptahe Eva Vayam Patitavantaha Kintu Vishesha Purnam abhavatiti amane. Purnam na kevalam uh, kevalam abhyasam abhavat. So abhyasam let us. Hmm. 
लेट अस रीड द विशेष पदांते स्थित नकार से नकार न भवती सो दिस इज अगेन एन एक्सेप्शन रूल ओके वी हैव स्टडीड वी आर स्टडीइंग द नत्वम व्हेन व्हेन डज नत्वम हैपन वी हैव स्टडीड द रूल्स अट्वर्णाः सन्ति चेत निमित्त नकारयोः मध्ये अट्वर्णाः सन्ति चेत नत्वम भवति कु अथवा पु वर्णाः सन्ति चेत अपि नत्वम भवति आंग उपसर्ग आ उपसर्ग आरूप उपसर्ग अस्ति चेत अपि नत्वम भवति नु अनुस्वारः अस्ति चेत अपि नत्वम भवति तत् वयं गतसप्ताहे पठितवन्तः खलु अत्र एकः अपवादः अस्ति पुनः किम् इति पदांते स्थितस्य नकारस्य नकार नत्वम न भवति पदांतस्य इति पाणिनीय सूत्रम पदांतस्य इति पाणिनीय सूत्रम पदांतस्य नस्य अस्ति चेत अपि ह उदाहरण दत्तमस्तो मध्य के अक्षरा सी स्वीकुर्वन् इत्यादिषु अपि शब्देषु इति ज्ञेयम सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन ऑल दीस वर्ड्स बिकॉज़ द नकारा इज एट द एंड ऑफ अ वर्ड नत्वम विल नॉट हैपन आदौ निर्दिष्ट नकारः ओकटे काकंड भगिनी क्षम्यताम आई एम ब्रेकिंग इन टू योर परलेट हलंत नकारमु अनि चेपकुंटे बेटर है हलंतम आइतेने अंतकंटे रामेण अन्नपुरु आदौ निर्दिष्ट पिता पत्र पुनरेक पठत एक गृहपाठ अस्त पठता चर्चा चुरत महाविद्याल सुधीरेण व्यक्तित्वस्य सर्वतो मुख विकासाय अवसरः प्राप्तः इति माता मन्यते सर्वतो मुख विकासः कथं भवति सो यू टेक दिस एज होमवर्क एंड ट्राई टू राइट इन योर ओन सेंटेंसेस ओके सो मदर थिंग्स दैट द एनवायरमेंट इन द यूनिवर्सिटी और कॉलेज इज हेल्पिंग हेल्पिंग सुधीर टू बिकम अ बेटर पर्सन हाउ or how can one become a better person that based on the story you try to write in a few lines manushyasya shariram asti manah asti buddhihi asti atma api asti etesham sarvesham vikasaya yada prayatyate tada eva vastutah manushyasya vikasah bhavati so we have to try using all these the sharira manah buddhihi atma Uh, how to how to enhance ourselves in you know, to a better person kim bhavat bihi swasya sarvato mukha vikasaya prayatyate so are you all trying to become uh, a better person yadi prayatyate tarhi katham so what are you doing to be a better person no chet kutahana so if you are not doing then why why are you not trying if you are trying how are you trying to become a better person if not why charcham kuruta patra lekhana dura bhasha sambhashana yoho kataratvaram katarat it means between the two so between patra lekhanam and dura bhasha sambhashana between these two which is better again चर्चा कुरुता पिता पत्र पठिवा सुधीर किंतवा सैत 
after reading father's letter what could have sudhir done okay for all this try to write uh, you know five lines or 10 uh, uh, lines try to write in your own words uh, for all these uh, questions okay moving on to the next page yana uh, kimapi tippani datavyam bhagini ah so basically uh, this is a very personal opinion so what do you feel you can write there is no right or wrong ante just for a hint edanna erla rayali anedi oka idea kosam ah so patra lekhana dura bhasha sambhashana yoho kataratvaram so patra lekhanam raayatam valla manaki emi benefits untayi emi drawbacks untayi adi kuda manam raayachu both we can compare both so mm-hmm. patra lekhanam uh, dura bhashana sa, dura bhasha sambhashanam aithe kanaka immediate ga untundi patra lekhanam koncham time padutundi by the time oh. we receive the news oh. uh, ade kaani danlo unde benefits danlo untai akkada manamu a personalized effect untundi handwriting avanni Correct. and punaha punaha patitum api shaknoti manaki vaallu gurtu vachinappudalla adi teesi chadavadam okokka sari maatladinivi marchipotam kaani అట్లా ఫొటోస్ కూడా ఒక్కొక్కసారి అట్లానే హెల్ప్ అవుతాయి మనకి గుర్తు కూడా ఉండవు కొన్ని ఫొటోస్ చాలా సంవత్సరాల తర్వాత ఇప్పటికీ గుర్తే చిన్నప్పుడు గ్రీటింగ్స్ పంపించడం రిసీవ్ చేసుకోవడం చెప్పండి సర్వేషాం వికాసాయ యదా ప్రయత్యతే ఇప్పుడు శరీరం ఉంది దాని వికాసం కోసం మనం ఏం చేస్తున్నాం సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ అట్లానే మనహ మనస్సుకి సంబంధించిన వ్యాయామం ఏముంటుంది మంచి ఆలోచనలు చేయడం తర్వాత బుద్ధి బుద్ధి అంటే ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ టు షార్పెన్ అవర్ బ్రెయిన్ వాట్ కెన్ బి డూ రీడ్ సమ్ మంచి బుక్స్ చదవటం లేదా ఇప్పుడు స్తోత్రాలు పఠనం చేయటం వల్ల కూడా మనకి ఆ షార్ప్నెస్ పెరుగుతుంది అట్లాగా తర్వాత ఆత్మ అపి అస్థి సో ఆత్మని వికాసాయ కిం కర్తుం శక్నోతి ఆత్మ అంటే ఇంకా స్పిరిచువల్ సైడ్ వెళ్ళిపోవటమే ఆత్మకి ఇంకా శరీరంతో మనస్సుతో వీటితో పెద్దగా సంబంధం ఉండదు సో మనం దాని వికాసం కోసం ఏం చేయొచ్చు అంటే వీటిని సాధనాలుగా వాడుకుని శరీరాన్ని మనస్సుని బుద్ధిని ఆ సాధనాలుగా వాడుకుని ఆత్మ యొక్క వికాసానికి మనం ఏం చేయగలచ్చు అట్లా అనమాట ఓన్లీ వెన్ ద మైండ్ అండ్ బాడీ ఈస్ ఫిట్ ఓన్లీ దెన్ వీ కెన్ డూ దట్ స్పిరిచువల్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ అంతే కదా అనారోగ్యంతో బాధపడే శరీరంతో మనం ఏం చేయగలుగుతాం ఏమీ చేయలేం ఏమీ చేయలేం సో దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ వై అవర్ ancestors or rishis have uh, uh, given us the yoga so mm. yoga asanalu prathama uh, kevalam prathama step a uh, first step why prathama because prathama. only when the body is healthy you can focus on other things atlane yes. uh, mind kuda body health mm. enth important to mind health kuda anthe important even if your body is uh, physically healthy if your mm. mind is not healthy again you mm. cannot uh, progress much on the spiritual side so okay. both mind and body need to be healthy to to do anything and then a little bit of buddhi is also needed what is okay. right and what is wrong we should be able to understand that is where the buddhi comes so manam a buddhi ni kuda samskarinchukuntu undali eppudikappudu mana ee kavyalu chadutu ilantivi chadutu edi correct edi wrong anedi manam udaharanalu teesukuntu munduku velthu unte appudu మన బుద్ధిని కూడా మనం షార్పెన్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఇవన్నీ సాధనాలుగా వాడుకుని ఆత్మని ఆత్మ వికాసం కోసం మనం ప్రయత్నం చేయొచ్చు సో ఈ పరంగా మీరు ఏం చేస్తున్నారు అనేది అడుగుతున్నారు సో శరీరం వికాసాయ శరీర వికాసాయ కిం కరోతి 
मनस्सु विकासाय किम करोति तथा एव बुद्धि विकासाय किम करोति अदि एटलीस्ट वन थिंग मेरे पद्धुने व्यायामम चेस तुंटे अदि शरीर विकासाय ये दन्ना मेडिटेशन लांटी दिचेस्ते अदि मनस्सु मी विकासाय अद अलाने बुद्धि की संबंधिंची इमान्ना प्रवचनालु विंटुन्नारा विनी बाटनी अभ्यसित तुन्नारा इतलांटी भी मनमो अंडे जस्ट काइंड ऑफ एनालाइजिंग आर्सेल्स what oh. we are doing and edi manam roju raskunte kanaka actually ga we can make this a weekly thing also and a self ever kaallu manam ee week lo em chesam so we will know oh. whether we are progressing or still there manam poin samvatsaram ekkada unnamo ee samvatsaram kuda akkade unte peddaga upayogam ledhu kada we have to gnyapakam kuda undavu manaki konni gnyapakam kuda undavu undavu so ala manam em chestunnamo anedi manalni manam పరిశీలించుకోవడానికి కూడా ఈ అభ్యాసం ఉపయోగపడుతుంది అధ కైశ్చిత్ వాక్యై లిఖితం అస్తి తత్ పఠత తత్ర కుత్రచిత్ నత్వ ప్రయోగే దోషాహ సంతి యది వాక్యే దోషాహ సంతి తర్హి శబ్దాన్ పరిష్కృత్య లిఖత జయప్రద గారు సుధీర పితు పత్రం పఠితవాన్ అత్ర దోష కుత్ర అస్తి పఠితవాన్ తస్మిన్ పదే సో అత్ర పదాంతే నత్వం న భవతి అత పఠితవాన్ మీరు ఆ ఫస్ట్ సెంటెన్స్ చదివి అక్కడ దోషం ఉందా లేదా చెప్పండి किमर्थम एंदुकु जरगकोड़ दिकड़ा नत्वम పదాంతస్య నకార అత పదాంతంలో ఉంది కదా అందుకని నత్వం అవ్వదు అందుకని విషయాన్ ఏవర్గస్య అనునాసిక అక్షర ఏవ మిత్రై సహ చర్చాం కృతవాన్ శుద్ధమస్తి ఏత్ వాక్యం శుద్ధమస్తి సర్వాణి మిత్రాణి గీతాకక్ష్యాం అగచ్చన్ అత్ర దోష అస్తి వా నాస్తి రెండు పదాలలో కూడా నత్వం భవతి కిమర్థం పదాంతస్య నకార అస్తి వా నాస్తి వా సర్వాణి వర్ణక్రమం వదతు కాదు సర్వాణి పదంలో వర్ణక్రమం చెప్పండి సో అంతిమ అక్షర కిం ఇకార సో నకార అంతే నాస్తి అందుకని నత్వం భవతి ఓకే నిమిత్తం రేఫ రే రేఫ నకారయో మధ్య కేవలం అకా ఆకార అస్తి అట్ వర్ణ ఏవ అస్తి అత నత్వం భవతి మిత్రాణి అత్ర అంతిమ అక్షర కిం ఇకార సో నిమిత్తం కిం రేఫ రేఫస్య నకారస్య మధ్య అక్షరాకార సో అట్ వర్ణ అత నత్వం భవతి గీతాకక్ష్యాం అత్ర నకార నాస్తి సో నత్వం న భవతి అగచ్చన్ అత్ర అపి నిమిత్త నాస్తి కింతు నకార పదాంత పదాంతే అస్తి అత నత్వం నవతి 
निमित्तमपि नास्ति अनन्तरं गीताकक्षाया द्वौ कालांशौ आस्ता प्रथम कालांशे संस्कृत शिक्षण शिक्षण रावलखंड शिक्षण द्वितीय तो गीताया पाठन च शिक्षण शिक्षणयो मध्ये के सन्ती के अक्षरा सी परे मध्ये अस्ति अट्वर्ण एव अतः नत्वं भवति नकारः पदांते नास्ति अतः नत्वं भवति पाठनं अत्र अत्र नत्वं अकर्लेदिन पाठनं करेक्टे हां किमर्थं निमित्तमेव नास्ति ओके हां असल निमित्तमे लेदु हां अस्तु धन्यवादः भगिनी राममूर्ति महोदय पठितुमस्ती अभियोग it negates the negative natvam avuna sanskrute geetena abhavat so natvam nas natvam dabhavati vakyam siddham asti next sentence tataha sanskrita bhashanam sambhashanam anvartat anvartata anvartata संस्कृत संभाषण शकार निमित्तमस्तीकार नकार अवश्य संस्कृत भाषण अन्वर्तता संभाषण संस्कृत भाषण शुद्ध पदम नेक्स्ट वाक्यम द्वितीय कालांश से आरंभ आरंभ ओके ओंकारेण ओंकारेण अभवत् ओंकारेण ओंकारेण करेक्ट शुद्ध शुद्धम अस्ति अर्हति अर्हति रेफा 
ओंकारेना पठनम् प्रवचनमेंबलर for uh, but uh, yeah. chakara not mm. enabler mm. so that, that's why it's, it remains a pravachanam only mm. sampannam sampannam nimittam nimittam nasti nimittam nasti astu so that mm. uh, vakyam shuddham asti shuddham vakyam shuddham bhavati mm. anantaram shlokan api patitum ichchati va oh uh, sure sure madam mm. gnana vardhini गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या शास्त्र विस्तर गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या शास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से पद्मनाभ से या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मा सुता विनिश्रुता सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोप गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधी सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्धम गीतम गीतामृतम मात सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर गो सुधीर सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्धम गीतामृतम महत् मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सकृद गीतामृत स्ना संसार मल नाशन संसार मल नाशन सो बेसिकली सो बेसिकली द मीनिंग वी ऑल नो द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दीज श्लोक या एनीबडी हु वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन द द श्लोका मीनिंग्स एनीबडी हु वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन somebody asked i think a couple of weeks back in our class when i was reciting uh, the shlokas at the beginning of the class so somebody posted a message uh, asking where these are or if i can send uh, mm-hmm. basically they are in the very first book geeta sopanam uh, prathama bhage asti sarvani shlokani so whoever Artha asked me ha huh? artha sahitam va अर्धम नास्ति केवलम श्लोकान संति आई डोंट आस्क टू मैडम आई वांट यू टू आस्क टू एक्सप्लेन द गीता गीता सोपानम प्रथम भागस्य कक्षायाम हम विवरणम अपि कृतवती किंतु वी कैन ऑलवेज डिस्कस देम अगेन यू नो गीता सुगीता कर्तव्य किमन्यैहि शास्त्र विस्तरैः सो इफ ओनली वन दिस गीता भगवत गीता इज uh followed okay what is the use of other shastras 
uh, whatever is given in all the shastras is given in uh, gita so we don't need uh, to uh, we don't need uh, to study all the shastras because the saram of all the shastras is given in bhagavad gita ya swayam padmanabhasya mukha padmadvinisrita so oh, it comes out of uh, the mouth of uh, uh, padmanabha, padmanabha. Mm. Mm. swayam so here ya it is taken as a strilinga. Why? Because Gita is, Gita uh, is also strilinga. taken as strilinga. Hmm. So that which comes out of uh, the mouth of uh, Padmanabha. Okay. Anantaram Sarvopanishado Gavo Dogdha Gopala Nandanaha Partho Vatsaha Sudhir Bhokta Dugdham Gita Amritam Mahat. So uh, all the Upanishads are considered, if we consider all the Upanishads as the cows. Uh, and the Gopalanandana is milking these cows. Okay. So, means the saram of all these Upanishads is told by Krishna. Like how the uh, best qualities of the cow comes in the milk. Like that, uh, the best, uh, uh, whatever is being said in the Upanishads is given by Krishna in this uh, Gita. Parthaha Vatsaha. So, the, the, so now this milk that is being uh, milked, um, the calf has to drink. So here the calf is none other than Arjuna. He is the one who is reaping the benefits of Bhagavad Gita when told by Krishna, right? Sudhir Bhokta. So Sudhi, Sudhihi Bhokta Dugdham Gita Amritam Mahat. So this Gita Amritam, the great Gita Amritam, he is drinking. Sudhir Bhokta, what does it mean, Emma? Dhi he is uh, again uh, uh, intelligence. Dhi he is uh -huh. intelligence. So Sudhi he oh. also it enhances. Okay, okay. So Parthaha, Vatsaha, Sudhi he, Bhokta, Dugdham, Gita, Amritam, Mahat. Anantaram Malanirmochanam, Kumsam. Sudhi he, Bhokta, the receptor of intelligence. Yes. Jnanam. Oh. Receptor of intelligence. Okay, okay. Malanirmochanam pumsam jalasnanam dine dine. So for us, we to clean our body, we bathe with water. To clean our body only. Right? Sakrad gita amrita snanam samsara malanashanam. So whatever malinam that we have because of leading our samsara jivitam, we can uh, clean that by, uh, by studying gita hmm. by studying Gita. So that is the meaning of these shlokas. Anantaram Gitayam Gunanam Tridha Vibhagaha Kritaha Asti. So as per Gita, as per Bhagavad Gita, the gunas are classified into three types: Sattvam, Rajaha, Tamaha. Iti Gunaha, Prakriti Sambhavaha, Nibadnanti, Mahabaho, Dehe, Dehinam, Abhyayam. Okay, so basically Krishna is telling Arjuna that uh, Sattvam, Rajaha and Tamaha are the three gunas that are naturally present in the Prakriti. Okay, they are very natural. In the Prakriti also we have these three gunas. So when the Atma takes um, birth into this Prakriti with a body, then automatically it will be influenced by these three gunas that are already there in the Prakriti. Okay, so everybody will be will have all these three gunas: the Rajoguna, Tamoguna, and Sattvaguna. They will have because it is very natural for anything that exists in this materialistic world to be made of these three gunas. Even the devatas have all the three gunas. Rakshasas also have all these three gunas. Manushyas also will have all these three gunas. But what is the difference? What is making uh, one as a uh, uh, devata and the other as Rakshasa. The Devatas have more Sattva Guna um, uh, than Raja and Tamoguna. Whereas the Rakshasas have more Tamoguna than the Sattva and Rajoguna. And Manushyas will have more Rajoguna, more than the Sattva and the Tamoguna. Okay, so that is how everybody will have all the three Gunas. But uh, that is how it is classified. Anantaram, Sattva Gunaha. Tatra Sattvam Nirmalatvat Prakash Anavya. Uh, uh, is uh, that which cannot be uh, yeah. so the uh, are what 
ಬಾಡಿ and uh, comes okay. into this world then it is oh. bound by these three gunas then uh-huh. it is bound by these three gunas normally atma does not have these three gunas only when it takes this body because this prakriti has these three gunas when the atma comes into this prakriti by taking a body then automatically the it will be bound by these three gunas so these three gunas will automatically come that is the reason why we do what we do we get angry okay. sometimes uh, we we have a desire for certain things this is all rajo gunam okay sometimes we feel like meditating that is sattva gunam we have a mixture of all these but what we are uh, uh, knowing this consciously knowing this fact consciously if we make an effort to only um, practice more of uh, the sattva guna Uh, to practice more of whatever is needed uh, to do our thing now now a king cannot sit and meditate and say i want uh, to have only sattva guna he has to do his responsibilities so for him the rajoguna is necessary for him as long as he is ruling the kingdom which is his duty he has to uh, he has to have some rajoguna otherwise it is not possible for him to rule the kingdom he needs that uh, uh you know that anger or whatever qualities that a king needs uh, to rule the kingdom so so for our responsibility to like whatever our swa swa dharmam is whatever our swa dharmam is we have to do that it is our responsibility but after we are done with our responsibilities then we can practice more of the sattva gunam why because we are trying to promote our atma into the next level to the next level that is why if you notice all the raghuvamsha uh, kings after they are they retire they go into the vanam and they practice meditation eat very simple food uh, live a very simple life they they lead their life satvikam why because they are done with their responsibility so they don't need that rajogunam as much so they practice sattva gunam to enhance their uh, atma into the next level so through yoga uh, they uh, they they leave their bodies through yoga also they are that capable all the raghuvamsha kings so that is why that uh, raghuvamsham is very well known um, for its uh, you know qualities the qualities of the kings so nibatnanti so when uh, the atma takes birth into the materialistic world into this prakriti automatically these three gunas will uh, it will be influenced by these three gunas that is what the second line means anantaram sattva gunah tatra sattvam nirmalatvat prakashakam anamayam uh, sukha sangena badnati ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಗೇನ ಚ ಅನಘ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅನಘ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಬೋಧನ ಟು ಅರ್ಜುನ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡನ್ ಎನಿ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತತ್ರ ಸತ್ವ ನಿರ್ಮಲತ್ವಾತ್ ಸೊ ನಿರ್ಮಲತ್ವಾತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಕಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಸ್ಫುಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಗುಣ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನಾಮಯ ಅನಾಮಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ um uh, without any uh, uh, diseases or without any uh, sins also we can say sukha sangena now those with this uh, sattva guna so sattva guna itself is like that it illuminates everything that is around them and because of its peacefulness so one who is who has this uh, sattva guna sukha sangena badnati he will be bound by that peace jnana sangena cha 
So not only peace with knowledge also. Because of the Sattva Guna, he will be blessed with knowledge as well as peace. So what are the Aharas that we uh, take? Uh, or what kind of Aharas will, uh, will uh, promote the Sattva Guna in a person? So another thing we have to know is, we have to understand is, uh, everything boils down to what we eat. Okay, the, the physical body. And the physical body has a big impact on the mind also. So if we eat ahara which uh, promotes the sattva guna, uh, automatically our mind also will, uh, uh, you know, uh, be more peaceful. So with the body in good health and mind at peace, then it will be easy for us to practice, um, uh, you know, the good uh, deeds and promote our Atma to the next level. So, Ayuhu, Sattva, Bala, Arogya, Sukha, Preeti, Vivardhanaha. So, the kind of food that we need to take is that which gives Ayuhu. Ayuhu means more life-giving uh, Ahara we have to take. Means uh, uh, like fruits and vegetables which are not very much cooked. If you cook them overly, the life in it is gone. If you eat them raw, the life in that uh, vegetable or fruit will be given uh, to the body. So the body will get energy from such kind of foods. Whereas the processed foods, like say biscuits or cakes, such things, they don't have any life in them. If we eat or consume such kind of processed foods, they don't give any energy to the body, but they take energy from our body to get out of the system. Because whatever we eat has to be... Um, um, you know, has to be out of the body, right? Whatever uh, input is there, output should also be there. If the input is life-giving input, like fruits, then our body is gaining energy by eating such kind of foods. Ayuhu. It is giving Ayuhu. So, that helps in the Sattva Guna, in promoting the Sattva Guna in the body. But if we eat uh, processed foods, it will not give any energy to the body. It will not give even one ounce of oxygen to the body. But it will take energy from our body because it, we need to uh, excrete it, send it out of the body by digesting. So to digest that food, uh, energy is taken from our body. So what, what is the point of eating? Many times we forget uh, why we are eating. We eat only for to keep our body healthy. But these days we are only focused on the taste. If we like the taste, we are not even thinking if that food is giving us energy or not. We tend to um, indulge in such foods. So basically, ayuhu. Okay, life-giving food only we have to eat. And then sattva. Sattva is again uh, the same um, kind. And then bala, that which gives us strength. Arogya, that which keeps us healthy. And sukha preeti vivardhanaha. So such kind of uh, food will uh, help us be happy and uh, at peace with the body at the body level. Uh, yajnaha. So, uh, so sattvikaha means a person with the, the sattva guna uh, should uh, eat that kind of foods or will eat that kind of foods and yajnaha. Aphalarthi bihi uh, vidhi purvakam kriyate. So, any yajna that he does, okay, it has to be aphalarthika, means no expectations on the result. Here, yajna need not be just sitting and doing some kind of yajna. Anything, any work that you do also can be considered as yajna. Like, uh, like uh, cooking, uh, uh, studying Sanskritam, helping somebody, anything or taking care of a person. Anything can be uh, looked at as a yajna. So, when you are like doing uh, any Shemana kind Bhagini. of work. Like hmm. Srivani Bhagini do, take ah. taking class for us. <laughs> ledu, ledu. So, any kind of work that you do, if we look at it as a kind of tapas, you know, as a yajna, then without any uh, expectation. So, that aphalar uh, bihi vidhi purvakam kriyate. And as per the uh, vidhi, means vidhi means that which is told by the Vedas. So, anything that we do has to be by the Vedas and without any desire for the result. Uh, then that also will promote the sattvika guna in us. Uh, and then tapaha. Shariram tapaha, vangmayam tapaha, manasam tapaha. They all say, you know, the great people, um, what they think, what they say and what they do will be the same. So whatever thought comes to their mind, that only they will say. And whatever they say, they do. 
but many times we find that people have a different thought in their mind they say something else when they are speaking and finally when it comes to karyam that is totally different so um, that is not the quality of a person who has uh, sattva guna so uh, so we have to practice if we want to become more uh, or promote more sattva guna in us we have to keep all these things in mind and practice them then surely we will uh, promote sattva guna within us and then danam desha kala patranusaram supatraya diyate so danam also we have to do only patra danam not apatra danam apatra danam means somebody who does not deserve these days it has become uh, you know a big uh, challenge to to identify um, whether we are doing a patra danam or a patra danam so, so sometimes we promote uh, or encourage laziness in people if we do apatra danam so we should not do apatra danam we have to uh, think twice if that is whatever uh, danam we are doing will help that person who is really in need okay uh, so that is about danam anantaram buddhihi yama niyama shraddha bhakti mayi uh, so shraddha we all know and bhakti mayi so buddhi should be that niyama means in control and yama i think uh, that is a kind of uh, that is a word which is used in some yoga practice which i am not very familiar with uh, so basically buddhi is intelligence and it needs uh, uh, to be also regulated for the for good usage we have to use our intelligence in the right way to promote ourselves anantaram rajo gunaha rajo ragatmakam vidhi trishna sanga uh, samudbhavam tanni badnati kaunteya karma sangena dehinam rajo gunaha so this uh, uh, rajo gunaha rajaha ragatmakam ragatmakam means raga dvesha like the passion uh, you know, um, having uh, these uh, anger, lust, desire, all these come under ragatmakam. So, rajoguna is filled with these kind of qualities. Vidhi means know this. O Kaunteya, know this. That rajoguna is filled with such kind of qualities. Trishna. Trishna also is like desire. Uh, sanga samudbhavam. So, Trishna sanga samudbhavam. So, this rajoguna samudbhavam originates because of the sangha with the desire means because of having desire this rajoguna will uh, will be born tanni badnati kaunteya karma sangena dehinam um, and what does this rajoguna do it will bind it will bind the person dehinam uh, by the phalartha even the uh, rajoguna also will bind will uh, look forward for some kind of benefit okay uh, karma sangena it will bind the person uh, with the karma sangena karma sangena means doing a karyam with the with the phalam uh, phalakanksha with the phalakanksha if we do something then karma sangena we can call so it will also bind see uh, when somebody is uh, uh, say for example it is not always bad also it is not always bad uh, to have phala uh, kanksha it is not bad when at least when we are leading a life of a grihastha ashrama and uh, you know vidyarthi ashrama and all such things we need to have phala kanksha to some extent not to the point where it becomes greedy otherwise when a king is ruling the kingdom he has a phala kanksha he wants all his people to be happy when a enemy uh, when he is maintaining such an army he has a reason for that when a enemy strikes he needs to kill them that is his responsibility he has a phala kanksha there right when he uh, when he approaches uh, another kingdom for help he has a phala kanksha there he is um, to save his people from any enemy attacks so phala kanksha necessarily need not uh, be bad every time okay uh, so rajoguna has phala kanksha um, and it is born because of the desire desire to protect our people desire to expand the kingdom desire to you know do many things which need not be bad that is what i am saying and then aharaha katu amla lavana um, atyushna tikshna ruksha uh, vidahinaha 
so all these we you know the shat, uh, shat ruchis right all these ruchis will promote the rajogunaminas uh, vidahinaha is uh, dahina daham like that which promotes scorching, thirst. scorching uh, acrid uh, means like deep fried foods uh, spicy foods uh, they increase the daham so such kind of foods okay ruksha is dry Mm, tikshna is very hot and spicy. Atyushna is also that which uh, increases uh, your ushna in the body. body heat. Uh, and the katuhu is again spice. Amla, you all know, pulupu and lavana is salt. Anantaram yajnaha. Yat phalam uddishya dambartham kriyate. So what kind of yajna they will do? Some kind of expectation uh, of the phala. Uh, dambartham. Dambartham also means like to show off also. Sometimes people do certain things to show off. Um, uh, so for such reasons, they do yajna. Uh, some people just to show off also. And for, uh, some others uh, for uh, palakanksha, it can be good. Palakanksha need not always be bad. And then tapaha. Satkaram. Uh, satkara mana pujartham dambhena kriyate. So tapaha. Why do they do uh, tapaha for to to get some status? We have seen some rishis in our stories, right? Uh, where they do tapas to to attain a particular status, and by getting that status, they expect that they will be re revered. Like Indra, always he is doing this or that yagas uh, for a particular status. There are some rishis also who do. Uh, hmm. So, uh, so they do tapas for that reason. And then danam, pratyupakarartham phalecha diyate. So they do for a good reason, but at the same time, they want some recognition also. Phalecha okay. diyate. Anantaram buddhihi, dharmam adharmam, karyam akaryam, samyak na janati. So their buddhi is not uh, uh, very sharp. They, they don't know sometimes to uh, distinguish between dharmam and adharmam and uh, karyam and akaryam means a good deed and a bad deed. They cannot uh, distinguish every single time. So there will be some confusions. Uh, and because of that confusions, they end up doing the wrong thing sometimes. Uh, anantaram tamogunaha. Tamaha tu ajnanajam vidhi mohanam sarvadehinam pramada Alasya nidrabhihi tanni badnati bharata. So here tamahatu agnyanajam. It is born out of agnyanam. Agnyanajam is that which is born out of agnyanam. Vidhi, know this. O bharata, know this. Mohanam sarvadehinam. So sarvadehinam is uh, of all the living beings. Mohanam is uh, of the uh, who is in illusion. Okay, uh, illusion basically. Mohanam is illusion. Pramada, which is madness, um, alasya, laziness, nidra, always sleeping, um, uh, nidra bihi, tanni badnati bharata. So he is bound. A person with uh, tamasika swabhava is bound by such qualities. He is always, uh, uh, he is mostly lazy. He is uh, one second. No? So he is uh, lazy and then all mostly sleeping like Kumbhakarna. He is a very good example of Tamasika Swabhava. Um, uh, and what are the other qualities given? Madness. Uh, you know, there is no thinking. There is no law, uh, rationality in them. So whatever they do can be very extreme, uh, extreme uh, things. You will, you cannot predict what they will do in a certain situation. So such kind of qualities are because of the tamoguna, because it is born out of ignorance, that guna. And then aharaha, uh, uchishthaha, paryushitaha, amedhyaha, gatarasaha. Uchishthaha is uh, more like leftovers. So after somebody eats, if uh, what is left, uh, means uh, engili, basically, what somebody has eaten, that kind of food. And uh, paryushitaha means stale food. 
from the previous day or whatever. Amedhyaha is uh, impure. It is not made out of uh, good uh, or proper uh, food items. Uh, Gatarasaha. Gatarasaha is uh, that which is tasteless. And the food is uh, spoiled to the point where it does not have any kind of taste. So, so if we eat such kind of foods, it will promote tamoguna in us. So we should not eat uh, such foods. Anantaram yajnaha, mantrahinaha, annadanahinaha, adakshinaha. So the yajnas that they do, how will they be? Mantrahinaha, no proper mantrocharana will be there in such yajnas. And annadanahinaha, so there is no annadanam done during that uh, yagas. And adakshinaha, the dakshina also will not be given properly to the priests that have performed the Yajna. So, such kind of deeds will also lead to tamoguna or people with tamoguna can do such kind of things. Anantaram tapaha. Paresham vinashaya kriyate. So, they do tapas only to destroy others. Tapas here means always do not imagine sitting in a forest and doing tapas. No. Anything that you do, like a daily cooking or, uh, you know, your housework or uh, studying, uh, whatever you do, can be tapas, depending on how you do it, with the shraddha. If you do it with the shraddha, that itself is tapas, that itself is meditation. We need not sit, close our eyes and do meditation. Whatever we do, 100%, 200% if we are putting our mind in that, that itself can become uh, tapas. So these people do tapas only to destroy others. Okay, means you always uh, sometimes come across people who are always thinking of something uh, how to uh, inconvenience other people, right? Uh, so, such things you can take in as an example. Anantaram danam. Adesha kale apatre diyate. So, they perform danas to the wrong kind of people. Uh, anantaram buddhihi. Pramada mudhata alasya moha agnyanamayi. So, their buddhi is filled with madness, uh, avahelana, unmattata, all these meanings come under pramada. And moodhata means foolishness, alasya, laziness, moha, illusion, uh, agnyanamayi and ignorance. Okay. So if the tamoguna is more, such kind of qualities uh, will can be seen. So we have to strike a balance between all these qualities. Um, okay. So we shall stop here. It is past 9.30. I did not see the time. Um, and we'll continue in the next class. Any questions so far? Namaste, Devi. Namaste. Um, Shanti Mantra. Sarve Bhavant Sukhinaha Sarve Sant Niramayaha Sarve Bhatrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschid Dukha Bhagdhavet Om Shanti 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 Sanya Vada Habagini Sanya Vada Habagini Sanya Vada Habagini Namaskara Shubharatri Sarvidya Shubharatri Agami Soma Vasare Kakshya Nasti Kimartham Mama Bhaginayasya Vivaha Asti Ataha Asti Bhagini Dhanya Vada Mahore um. class recordings not available in the future. Uh -huh. Gmail ID Ekvaram Mam Preshayatu Mahodeya Bhavataha Gmail uh -huh. ID. Ambag. Um, Hast. Dhanya. Dhanya.